and media nonsense and offering you a f- on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And yes, welcome to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Happy to spend some time with you here educating and informing as a consumer advocate. We want to help you win in any marketplace. That's always our goal, as we say here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. We've got attorney Millie Athanason on the second half of the show, uh, law offices of Millicent Athanason. Uh, she's always got great legal uh, information for us. She's a legal analyst, one of our 80 contributors here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to kick off with Doug Levi as well, uh, the insurance quarterback, strategic insurance here on the Consumer Quarterback Show to kind of give you an overview of the Florida property market and another carrier goes into receivership. So that's bad news uh, for the insurance space. And uh, we're going to play a couple clips here about the Fed, the Federal Reserve, what they might do with mortgage rates, and also looking at uh, recession and stagflation potentially coming into play uh, here. So our show is a little bit more on a local flair, uh, but we do have an article out of Axios as well. Inflation is hitting battleground states worse. And guess what? Tampa area has the highest inflation, increase in inflation by metro area out of the entire United States, 11.8%. Uh, Atlanta is 117 Phoenix area 107 and Miami 10.2. The average U.S. city is 8.2. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, before we do, we like to feature our listings uh, here on the show. We like to feature our top listings in Tampa Bay, help you get a feel for each zip code in each area. Uh, this one's in Pinellas County. We've got a property at 14626 Loridon Drive. This is a property that we've got uh, listed. It's a million dollar listing, a beautiful property here. Uh, beautiful home, two bedrooms, three bath, 1,330 square feet. You got double master layout. So you got two suites, two master suites on this property. And when you look at the photography, you've got 180 degree views of the intercoastal waterways. Uh, you've got a heated pool, tennis court. And uh, look at this home sitting on the point there. It's on the point of a peninsula. Beautiful property at 14626 Loridon Drive, number 14 in Seminole. One of our 50-plus listings that you can find on our website at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. This is God's country. And speaking of God's country, I want to do a quick... uh, a quick intro here and talk a little bit about uh, one of the biblical values of enlarge your vision. Everything is possible for him who believes. That's Mark 23, Mark 9, 23. Enlarge your vision. Everything is possible for him who believes. And it reminds me also in the Bible how Paul said, call forth those things that be not as though they were. So what does that mean? It means act as if, right? So if you're in sales like me, and if you're in business or, or whatever type of uh, relationship you want to add this to, you want to act as if and carry yourself as if you've already made that connection. Act as if you are already a top producer, a top listing agent, a top producer in your business, and you've already achieved that goal. And so when you do that, you think big, right? Think big. Speak it into existence is another one. It says, discover the power of your thoughts and words. Uh, The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruits. Proverbs 18.21. So discover the power of your thoughts and words. So when you think and you speak it into existence and you act as if, that's the big part, right? We gotta actually act as if we have the skill set. Act as if we can do that and we can achieve that, then you're on the road to success. Uh, So you wanna make sure you assume the deal, assume the close, and act as if you already have that, right? So take action and take measured action and constantly skill up. You're always looking to improve your skill set and that's gonna help you win. So there's your motivational minute uh, with a couple Bible verses here, uh, since it is God's country. I love that clip by uh, Blake Shelton there. Uh, Let's bring in Doug Levi, Strategic Insurance. Welcome back, Doug. Brandon, always good to be here. And especially when you open strong with words from the greatest book of all time, that's still the best selling book of all time, the Bible. Yeah, man. Amen to that. Absolutely. That is good stuff. That is good stuff for sure. Yeah, we say, my motto here, we say dream big and make it happen, right? So that's how we we try to, to teach our team and even think with our clients on, on that. And because we know everyone out there has dreams and, and uh, 
So on the insurance front and the insurance news, Brandon, on, on uh, some of what you just talked about on the headlines, yeah, we, we've had another carrier, Avatar. Uh, Avatar Insurance just went into receivership last week. They have about 40,000 policies in the state of Florida, uh, homeowners policies. Uh, so you want to be on the lookout, right? If you're driving around right now and you're like, hmm, Avatar sounds familiar. And that's your carrier. super important because – uh, they literally have 30 days to find coverage elsewhere, and the coverage is totally ceasing. So we do have a handful of those policies in our agency book of business. We already have a plan in place, reaching out to all of our policyholders proactively, already searching the marketplace to find them alternative solutions. Uh, so, yeah, you really want to be aware of what's going on in the homeowner's insurance right now because a, a lot of changes going on, Brendan. Yeah, so that's interesting. So you you go through your portfolio, you find okay, um, John John Smith on X Y Z property, Banana Street here. He has uh, this policy. So then it's up to you as as his broker, as you helped him place that. You you have to proactively reach out and, and try to reposition that client. Yeah, hundred percent. And if you really trace it back, and 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 I think this is, I, I know a lot of people probably glaze over when they they hear insurance in general, but. You know, we, we stand by this premise, Brandon, we talk about this quite a bit, that it's one of the largest expenses that most families bear when you really add your home, your auto, any other insurance, life, health, disability, et cetera, right? It is a big nut each month for the average American out there. And in Florida, we are the, we, this just came out the other week too, we are now the most expensive state in the country for homeowners insurance, right? So we mm. kind of start from that premise and say, hey, how do we help you manage this effectively, Right. We are try to be very proactive with our communication with our clients just in general, but especially in times like this. So as soon as the announcement was made, our team already had a plan in place where we're proactively calling, texting, emailing, reaching out to the clients, and working on alternate proposals. My concern uh, is perhaps agents that aren't as proactive, uh, uh, you know, maybe asleep at the wheel, quote unquote. You you run the risk of having a client that maybe has avatar. And the agent's not proactively contacting them. Maybe they don't track their mail as well as they could. And now all of a sudden, you know, 45 days have gone by, the policy officially canceled, there's a claim, that's going to be a mess, right? So we always believe educating our client and our consumer uh, so that they can make the best decisions possible is, is paramount. And again, if you've got avatar insurance, we're certainly not saying anything bad about the people who work there, or the company, but they're in receivership. Uh, the state's given 30-day notice, <clears throat> There will be notices going out directly from the carrier as well. But uh, anyone with Avatar insurance, definitely be aware of that. And we'd love to help you out, right? So if, if you've got Avatar and, again, you're driving around right now and that name sounds familiar, please feel free to reach out to us, tampabayinsurance.com. You can live chat with one of our agents online. We'd be happy to uh, review the marketplace. We've got access to over 20 other carriers and try and find the best coverage and best rates. Yeah, reach out, 813-917-1894, the show hotline. We'll put you in touch with Doug and his team, uh, Kayla, and the whole team over there. They're so very helpful. 813-917-1894. Call or text that line. It's an off-air number. We're talking with Doug Levi here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Strategic Insurance, and some of the things happening in the Florida property market, the insurance market, another carrier goes into receivership and, a.k.a. bites the dust. So it's a challenging time. you got less choices and there, uh, you know, anytime you have in any market, uh, you you have these uh, companies going out of business, and, and it basically you know limits the the opportunities there. But there's still a lot of opportunities. Doug has a great uh, company, and he can search a lot of different uh, carriers. I think it's over 25 carriers now that he searches. But uh, there's there's other types. So you think about property casualty, you think about disability, uh, flood insurance, sinkhole, wind, water. There, there's lots of different policies to consider too, Doug. In no doubt. There's a lot of exposure, a lot of risk out there. And one of the things that we're seeing a lot of going on right now, Brandon, and, and people that have lived in Florida a long time probably know the name, and even those newer to the areas, Citizens Insurance is taking more and more market share on. Uh, we work with Citizens. Citizens is basically the state of Florida, right? So the state of Florida's insurance program. And we normally try to keep people out of Citizens, frankly, because while you're dealing with the state on top of insurance, you've kind of got, like, bureaucracy on top of bureaucracy. Normally, their rates aren't always as competitive. They normally do that to price themselves out of the market. So it truly becomes a carrier of last resort. That's how it was set up. That was the intention behind it. 
Citizens right now, Brandon, is taking on 5,000 new policies a week. So that is a tremendous amount. They are expecting the top. By the end of the year, it could be over a million policies. Wow. A few years ago, they were around three to 400,000. So think about that amount of uh, stress, strain, growth, et cetera. So, um, it, it, you know, it is a challenging situation. We really try to look at each scenario and say, what is the absolute best option for the client, best rate, best coverage? Sometimes it may be citizens. So we are seeing a shift more back to that because the marketplace is, uh, you know, from a supply and demand standpoint, there's, there's just not as much supply, if you will, uh, where carriers are either closing, going out of business, really reducing what they want. A lot of the carriers now are wanting very new houses. You know, we have some carriers, they won't do a house unless it's 2010 or newer. Right. Okay, well, that's great for some of the newer areas, but we know here in Tampa Bay, there's a lot of great neighborhoods and a lot of great homes that are older than 2010, right? So, uh, you know, again, we we stay on top of the marketplace. We're very in close contact with our state association, Florida Insurance of Insurance, Florida Association of Insurance Agents, probably just like Florida Association of Realtors, <clears throat> Brandon, and, um, you know, making sure that we have the latest info to make that, so that we can help our clients the best best way possible. Yeah, and that's that's a good thing to do. And, and you look at making a review. Most most people don't realize they just kind of re up their insurance from last year, or they'll do things like, uh, you know, I just bought a, a dirt bike. <laughs> you know, like a little thing. Mm-hmm. Like first thing I did, I thought I got to make sure Doug knows I got a dirt yeah. bike here. So we got a hundred oh, percent a little policy in place. You know, talk about the changes through people, the life that people have. Yeah, hundred percent. And we realize depending on how most people out there feel. I know a lot of in our circle of friends and church and everything. It's you know, the, the pace of life, life is faster than ever before, right? Absolutely. And all the technology that supposedly simplifies our life, you can make the case that it also complicates. And, and, and the speed is just frenetic, right, for everyone out right. there. And we acknowledge that. We know people are busy. They're, everyone's just trying to do the best they can to take care of their families, you know, be part of their communities, et cetera. And insurance is just one small cog on that wheel, so we really try to go above and beyond with our communication. So some of the things we do, we contact our clients proactively to offer a review. doesn't mean everyone takes us up on it, but we every year reach out. We send a postcard, email, text message, try and contact our policyholders in a variety of ways so that they know we're here and we're not just contacting them when the bills do. We want to contact them and find out what's going on, what's changed, what's updated, does anything that they've done or changed need to be updated in their insurance world, if you will? You know, we've talked in the past, Brandon, that we've had clients that have done major home renovations and haven't let us know, you know. Right. A client, we had a client that added 1,500 square feet onto their home, and really kind of let us know towards the end. We want to be out in front to understand any changes that are going on so that if the claim comes, if that major situation happens, you're well taken care of. That's our whole goal. And, and, and if you add a pool, is that something that would be, uh, you know, an update 100%. to the policy? Yeah. Absolutely. You definitely, for, for pool, a couple things. A, the liability. You want to make sure that's an additional exposure, uh, that maybe it's time to consider a liability umbrella, which puts additional coverage over your home and your personal assets. Those are normally priced affordably. I recommend them highly, especially if you don't have youthful drivers. If you have young drivers, different ballgame. But in general, Brandon, a million-dollar umbrella is normally about $300 a year. Right? So if, God forbid, there was some sort of claim at your home or in your cars, you've now got an, an additional million dollars of coverage. And then the other thing is there is a cost of rebuilding a pool. I mean, there are times where pools pop out. There are times where a pool could be damaged in a, uh, in a hurricane or a flood. <clears throat> Pools are a significant investment. Uh, you know, they are not inexpensive to put in. So those are definitely things that you want to you want to make sure that you're reaching out to your insurance agent or carrier and letting them know about. Absolutely. All right, take a break, yeah. quick uh, quick break here. Doug Levi, when we come back here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Strategic Insurance, TampaBayInsurance.com, and ConsumerQB.com as well. You can find all of our information on ConsumerQB.com. We're going to be right back. We're going to talk a little bit about recession and mortgage rates when we come back here on the show. Stay with us. Don't touch that dial. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. For more information, go to ConsumerQB.com. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-917-1894. Online at ConsumerQB.com. 
Hey, Brandon Rimes here for Cleaning Commandos here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Cleaning Commandos are hiring, and they're offering competitive wages, flexible hours, relaxed atmosphere, and a sign-on bonus. Reach out if you'd like a career with the Cleaning Commandos here in Tampa Bay. Info at cleaningcommandosllc.com or call 813-750-0550, 813-750-0550, Cleaning Commandos, Consumer Quarterback Show. Hey, Brandon Rimes here. We are looking for real estate investors. We've got a new relationship bringing us a tremendous amount of off-market real estate investment opportunities. So text the word investor to our hotline, 813-750-0550. Off-market real estate investment opportunities. Text investor to 813-750-0550. Brandon Rimes here, Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Looking for real estate investors. Send us a text. Have you desired more income and more freedom in your life? Now is your time. Keller Williams Realty has just launched our own real estate school, and you can get licensed for free. I'm Brandon Rimes, host of the Consumer Quarterback Show, owner of the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. And for the first three people who reach out, I will personally coach you. 813-917-1894. Call or text 813-917-1894. ConsumerQB.com. ConsumerQB.com. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rimes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-917-1894. Hey, we're back. Brandon Rimes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, helping you win in any marketplace here in Tampa Bay. We like to feature our real estate listings live on air as well. We help our sellers profit more and sell faster, utilizing our innovation with radio, TV, and internet marketing. Uh, By the way, just listed last night, we don't have the photography for it yet, but it's a corner lot in Hudson, waterfront, corner lot, double lot in Hudson on the waterfront, bay access, beautiful property. If you're looking for a lot to build on, uh, this one is going to be listed around 199 uh, in that range right there in Hudson. Beautiful property just listed. Uh, It's actually a pocket listing, not listed yet. Um, So we got a hot property listing, 14121 7th Street in Dade City. 14121 7th Street in Dade City. Now this is a gorgeous restaurant entrepreneur opportunity. Uh, You've got an established restaurant since 1990, Dade City, downtown Dade City, two dining rooms. Uh, You've got upstairs is more of a banquet style setup, one bedroom, one bath apartment as well. So the sale includes the real estate, the furniture, the equipment, all of the cooking and and the refrigeration equipment. And an entrepreneurial investment opportunity. Plenty of parking. 14121 7th Street in Dade City. One of our hot real estate listings. You can see all of our listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. And we'd love to help you win. And we've got Doug Levi on the show here, Strategic Insurance. Now, uh, Doug, I wanted to play a quick clip here about uh, the mortgage rates. A lot of people, of course, are buying real estate, investing, and maybe looking at refinancing. And, of course, insurance comes into play. I'm going to play a quick clip here for us about uh, mortgage rates. You mentioned that the Federal Reserve is planning to raise interest rates. How does this affect everyday Americans? What would they see in terms of direct impact from interest rate hikes? The direct impact has already been seen. And again, the Fed hasn't even moved, which tells you expectations are key. So what have they seen? Mortgage rates have gone up 100 basis points, which means that rates you can get long term mortgage at 3 percent. Now it's around 4 percent. That's one factor. The other factor is the equity market. Their 401ks are down. Uh, They're down quite substantially, still high relative to where we were, but certainly down substantially. And it's possible they could go down significantly more if the economy enters into a recession. Yeah, so potentially for potential for recession and there's there's stagflation coming and basically you know that's where the economy is growing slower, the GDP is growing slower than the actual rate of inflation. Uh, Doug, what's your thoughts on on a, on a looming uh, recession? Yeah, it's an interesting time, right? If you study economics in U.S. history, we're in an interesting time where you've got you know rates going up but growth is slowing, which is the stagflation you're mentioning and. Um, you know, it's, <laughs> I think this week, I don't know, it's, it could be tomorrow or, or sometime this week, the Fed's going to come out. They're predicting a 25% uh, 
uh, basis hike in the federal funds rate and, and the prime rate and everything. So, yeah, I, I mean, I think it's all the more reason for consumers out there to to be tuned into shows like this, Brandon, uh, to try and manage their own personal economies as best as possible. There's no doubt that there's some headwinds facing <clears throat> facing our economy and, and world at large. Yeah, and it's frustrating too because it's always a, a, an attack on the middle class. You know, the, the the wealthy, the elites, they get away with this, and it actually helps them because of the way they position their assets and all the big companies. If you notice, two uh, about two years ago, right around pandemic time, they were all taking out huge loans because they knew the interest rates were super low and that they were going to stay low for a while. And then you know, so so it works in their favor. So that's what we're trying to do with here is educate folks and help them understand their buying decisions, making them more street smart. Uh, we do that with bringing on over uh, eighty different categories. Categories of consumer advocate content and advice right here attorneys cpas financial advisors uh, today we've got doug levi our insurance expert uh, strategic insurance tampa bay insurance.com so the idea is to give you some tools to help you kind of navigate these waters and figure out a way to structure your your portfolio whether it's real estate insurance uh, investments uh, technology experts that we bring on the show and i love it you know it's the highlight of my week when i get calls and people saying hey i love your show i thank you for doing what you do by the way can you put me in touch with your cpa can you put me in touch with your mortgage partner your insurance partner uh, 813-917-1894 just call or text that line it's an off-air number, 813-917-1894. And, yeah, so the, the challenge also is is about stagflation. i got another quick clip here I want to play uh, about recessionary potential uh, for recession. Will it come? Will it not? Here we We're go. We're also contending with a less friendly Fed, which means less liquidity, higher interest rates, which is going to be bad for risk assets, stocks, and bonds. So that's another factor that could depress demand and therefore lead to recession. So while I'm not in the recession camp yet, those risks are growing, and it may not take much at this point for us to tip into a recession, given the stagflationary backdrop we've seen. So you mentioned the term stagflation. Now, some people might not be familiar. So we just defined stagflation before. So, yeah, so, the, you know, less liquidity. That's I think that's a big challenge also, especially when you cut off, uh, you know, a lot of the banking uh, opportunities for small business owners, people that are looking for line of credit. Uh, and especially in the in the real estate sector, when I think about construction, I'm hearing more and more builders saying, hey, I, or, you know, even even homeowners that were going to build, their builder says, no, sorry, we're not going to be able to build for you uh, because of these these supply chain issues. They're not able to get trusses, for example, uh, to build the roof with. Doug, you, are you hearing that? Yeah, I, I am. I mean, so many good points here, Brandon, all along the way. I'm, I'm actually working right now, and I, we feel real blessed. You know, we reached out to you, and we found a, a, a plot of land in Safety Harbor, and we're working on building a home. And so this is real world to me, right? And I'm a small business owner. I'm not... I'm not Bill Gates or Warren Buffett's uh, heir apparent, independently wealthy. And so we're seeing it firsthand in, in, in the cost. And, yeah, you hear things like trusses and windows or, you know, six, nine months or more out, if you can even get them. So I, I think the other one, we haven't talked on it specifically today, but I know everyone's feeling is sort of the pain at the pump. I mean, you look at gas prices now and, and you know, Four and a half, five dollars a gallon. I mean, we haven't seen rates like that. I don't know if even in the last 10, 15 years, even when we had our last, you know, you know big kind of oil run up maybe 10 years ago. So, yep. and, and you know, the thing that I, I think the left is very deaf to, where you hear guys like Pete Buttigieg just saying, go buy an electric car. Well, you right. know, the average American may not be able to just drop 60 grand on a Tesla, number one. Nor may he want to, or get want to give up what they're driving. Uh, and, and then, you know, more to the point, you've got the truckers out there. I mean, we have some clients that are independent truckers, and these are these are basically, you know, independent small business owners. A, a guy who maybe puts up his life savings and capital to get a truck, get an eighteen wheel wheeler, like a big Peterbilt or something like that. And he's an That's independent right. contractor. He's going out and hustling for jobs and. You know, carrying goods and services, which makes our country go. That's right. Well, now for him, it may cost fifteen hundred or two grand to fill his his truck up. That's, That's right. Ultimately, going to filter Doug, down to all of us. Find Doug Levi online on the Consumer Quarterback Show, consumerqb.com. Doug, thanks a lot. Appreciate you, man. Always good being here, Brandon. Blessings to everybody. See ya. Likewise. All right, quick quick break. When we come back, Millie Thanison here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We'll be right back. This is Chris Voss, former FBI lead hostage negotiator and owner of the Black Swan Group. And you're listening to Consumer Quarterback Show hosted by my friend, Brandon Rogers. 
To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-917-1894. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Am I? Five, four, three, two, one. You're listening to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at consumerqb.com. 
All right, welcome back. Brandon Rimes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty, Sports and Entertainment Division of Keller Williams Realty, an elite group of only 1,000 agents worldwide uh, out of a company that has 200,000 agents. We're in the Sports and Entertainment Division, also uh, the Luxury Division, help you with your luxury real estate sales. And we also do commercial, so commercial vacant land sales as well. Giving a shout out to Chad Irrigation, Victor and his team over at Chad Irrigation. They do a great job uh, here in Tampa Bay with our real estate properties. We referred them. They do a great job even on my personal home uh, with sprinkler systems and irrigation. Chad Irrigation, Victor and his team. Make sure you give them a call and just mention that you found, you heard about them here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, Brandon Rimes referred you over. Uh, we'd greatly appreciate that. All right, we got some property here in Tampa Bay. We like to feature our listings to help our sellers profit more and sell faster. Uh, 4823 Ebb Tide Lane. We got a penthouse available for sale here in Tampa Bay. Uh, so the penthouse is number 405, and this is on the river waterfront in uh, Newport Ritchie area. 4823 Ebb Tide Lane. Uh, actually, Port Ritchie dropped the new there. 4823 Ebb Tide Lane, number 405. 1,100 square feet, one bedroom, two bath. And it's your very own penthouse suite available. You got 270 degree views uh, on the Cody River as well. Views of the Gulf of Mexico, brand new flooring, paint, covered parking included, building features pool and elevator. And you got a marina next door and all the cool restaurants at the end of the street as well. So you can see all of our real estate listings at platinummvpteam.kw.com. All right, and we got Attorney Millie Athanason on the program. Attorney Millie is on the show, and you've heard her on previous shows as well. She's a, a legal analyst here on the program. And welcome back to the show, Millie. Oh, thank you for having me, Brandon. I always like talking with you. Absolutely. It's great to have you as well. And, and today you wanted to talk about some of the different uh, legislation that is going on in the state of Florida. And the floor is yours. Yes, well, thank you. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, some of the new laws that have passed both houses, both the Senate and the House, and have been sent up to Governor DeSantis's desk to be signed. I mean, now that the legislative session is closed, they they just finished up. Uh, they on Monday, I think they passed. Was it eleven point four million dollar budget for the state? Um, so basically, they're done for. For this season, um, you, you've heard a lot on the news about all of this legislation, and so I kind of wanted to break it down and talk about what what it is. Um, one of the big ones is what they dub as the "Can't Say Gay" uh, law. The governor is expected to sign it, and um, what what a lot of protesters have been complaining about is is they're saying that it. It prohibits them from talking in school about b your sexual orientation or gender preferences. But what it really says is that the schools can't teach at all kindergartners through third grade um, about issues that uh, relate to sexual orientation or gender identity. After the third grade, then they can't teach anything that is not age or developmentally appropriate about these items. So the the bill where where the protesters call it "Don't Say Gay" really isn't a gag order forever. It's just that at the younger or tender ages of kindergarten through third grade, they don't want uh, the schools talking about it. The other issue with it, or with this bill, is that it does say that if there's violations of the bill, that parents can sue the school board or teachers for these violations. Um, so it does expose teachers on an individual basis to liability should they violate this, this particular statute. So, I mean, it's a little bit different than what they profess on TV as to what the, what the bill really says. So I kind of wanted to just break that down and, and clarify that it, the gag order is basically from kindergarten to third grade and not a total overall ban throughout a child's educational career. 
Yeah, and a, and a lot of it, you know, is the, the the new source where you get it from, right? So if you if you're if you're looking at it at a new source that's going to be predominantly left leaning, it's going to say they're going to call it "Don't Say Gay." If it's the opposite, then they're going to say, "Well, it's a parental right bill," and it doesn't. The, from what I've gathered, the bill doesn't say "gay" the word "gay" in there at all. It just talks about parental yeah. rights to try to create try, what Governor DeSantis was trying to do with this bill or the legislature rather is they're trying to curb the uh, they're trying to curb the grooming that happens in some states like we saw in Virginia and other states like Maryland. Uh, there, there's some pretty pretty amazing stories that come out of California even as well where, where they're trying to coax kids into like changing their gender and just different things like that. And then the worst part is they don't want to bring the parents in for consultation. So, you know, as a parent, could you imagine – uh, a, t- a teacher, a principal, or even a counselor at school, you know, talking to your five-year-old, you know, about <laughs> sex, you know, or about gender. Like the kids don't even know what crayon they want to choose, but they're going to, you know, try to groom them into these types of, uh, you know, LGBTQ plus and all the, you know, the different uh, acronyms there. Right, right. You know, the, the, the only concern I have is, is that it allows them to suit the school board and the teachers directly what I foresee happening is that you're going to see a lot of lawsuits spring up over this because what's going to happen is if, if, if a child is, is gay, they could say just like what you were saying, that they were coaxed into being gay by the, the school and uh, that there's damages because, God forbid, the child tried to hurt him or herself or something like that. So I, I, I do see that there could be a lot of lawsuits uh, that pop up from this, which, I mean, from my perspective, there's job security. But from, you know, from a a state budget resource guide, if you will, it it can be very costly to the state. Because remember, school boards are divisions of the state of Florida. So any money that, that gets doled out as a result of these lawsuits is going to be coming from the state budget, i.e. our taxes. You know, right. so. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I got a clip for this, actually, uh, every week. I have, uh, you know, different clips for the show, and, and uh, our production team does a great job of clipping these out. Let me play this 42-second uh, clip here. Why okay. is that Why is that so controversial? Why are parental rights such a massive controversy in America of 2022? Really is remarkable, isn't it, Steve, that, that that's a question, that that's, that's a concern that we're having now now in today's classrooms and in today's, um, in today's society. What we're finding is you know, this bill um, protects pre-K through third grade. Uh, it, it's remarkable that anyone wants to sexualize our, our four to seven-year-olds. It's disgusting. Uh, we're sick of it. You should be able to stand up for your children. Um, we're so grateful for Governor DeSantis and our legislators for understanding the importance here. They are under immense attack right now. Yeah, so there's a quick clip from uh, one of the podcasts I listened to, Morning Wire. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, so wh- how how can you what what, what how can your practice uh, help as well, Millie? Because people are thinking, you know, maybe I can get involved, or, or you know, you're just kind of giving an overview for folks. Well, sure. If you have any questions about the implications of the bill, certainly we can, you can make an appointment to come in and, and discuss it. The bill does go on to say that schools may not withhold information from the parents about the children. So there are some other nuances that, you know, if an issue comes up, you know, about sexual orientation or what have you, that the parents are to be informed and to be involved in any type of decision making procedures. So I think that that's something that that parents are concerned about because what was happening a lot of times is, you know, they may go to school and, and tell teacher Mrs. Smith, well, I'm I'm gay, but don't tell my mom and dad. And so this, this is something that parents have been very concerned about because they feel like they're not getting the information from the school about their, their child or children. So this bill does say that the schools need to definitely communicate with the parents. So if there's any question that anybody has in that regard, they can call me at my office and we can certainly sit down and talk about how this bill may affect you as parents and and how you can be a little bit more proactive in the school 
to make sure that you are kept abreast of all of the situations involving your children. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's always great to have. And and we want you to think about Millie as a resource on our show. I mean, what a great resource for a lot of different areas. Uh, she can help with uh, personal injury law. Uh, we've talked about, talked about auto accidents uh, in her segments. And can you give us an overview, Millie, of just different ways that you could help folks? Oh, gosh, yes. You know, I, I do personal injury law. I started out my career when I was a baby lawyer as an insurance defense lawyer for Allstate and Prudential. So um, I, I do have a vast amount of knowledge in the area of, of personal injury. I also do family law work, and uh, that would include divorces, uh, adoptions, uh, paternity cases, anything of, of that sort. And then I also do estate planning and some probate work. So those areas I can cover. I I don't practice, for example, in the area of of criminal defense. So, you know, if if, if that's a situation, I'm probably not the best person to call for that. (laughs) But for for any of the other topics that I mentioned, I'm certainly there and available. And my number is 1-833-ASK-MILLIE or 727-376-9100. Yeah, Ask Millie. I like that. 833-ASK-MILLIE. Uh, that's a, that's a good yeah. one. And by the way, for a criminal defense, uh, we work with uh, Anthony Rickman on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Anthony Rickman's a great guy. He does criminal defense. But yeah, so that's that's great. You can help people in a lot of different ways. Uh, more with attorney Millie Athanason here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk more about some other uh, bills and legislation in uh, Tallahassee and, and, and talk more with Millie Athanason here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, please follow us online. We would love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes one on Instagram, Twitter, and Gitter. I got the Consumer Quarterback Show page out there on Facebook as well as other social media sites. We'll be right back after this short break. Don't go anywhere. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say, Brandon Rhymes. Knock out your competition. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-917-1894. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Hey, Brandon Rhymes here. We are looking for real estate investors. We've got a new relationship bringing us a tremendous amount of off-market real estate investment opportunities. So text the word investor to our hotline, 813-750-0550. Off-market real estate investment opportunities. Text investor to 813-750-0550. Brandon Rhymes here, Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Looking for real estate investors. Send us a text. You're listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-917-1894. And we're back. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP Team, Keller Williams Realty. Quick shout out for Discovery Golf Cars here in Tampa Bay, formerly known as Golf Cart Depot, uh, discoverygolfcars.com. Uh, longtime friends of the Consumer Quarterback Show, they hooked us up with a beautiful Keller Williams red golf cart, and we just love spending time. We go out there and door knock in the neighborhoods as well for the real estate business. Uh, one of the cool ways that you can. Uh, lead generate and it seems like everybody's getting a golf car they've got some really good ones over there they've got the easy go star ev cushman they offer new and pre-owned uh, reach out to ethan over at discovery golf cars let them know the real estate quarterback sent you so you can take them up on those special offers and incentives uh, just by mentioning that you're a fan of the consumer quarterback show and we'd love to help you win in any marketplace here on the show we got a couple of hot listings here in tampa bay i got a dry cleaner for sale in tampa 4214 north Nebraska Avenue. This is a dry cleaner in Seminole Heights area. Great opportunity. It's a corner lot. All of the real estate's included. The business is included. And it's a great opportunity to own a business and the real estate here in Tampa Bay. And you can see all of our real estate listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. Somewhere, somewhere. 
And we're back here in studio. We've got Millie Athanason on the program as well. Attorney Millie Athanason, that is, Athanason Law and 833-ASK-MILLIE. Or you can call the Consumer Advocate Hotline, 813-917-1894. And we'd love to help you uh, with any of your connections that you're looking to make here in Tampa Bay, over 80 different categories associated with the show uh, here on the program. So, Millie, what other uh, legislation is in Tallahassee right now? Well, the, the, the big hot topic is the Fetal and Infant Mortality Reduction Act or, or the abortion law. Uh, Florida, both houses in, in Florida have um, approved the abortion law that is similar to the one in Mississippi. And essentially what they did is redefine gestational periods and change the abortion law right now or the the current law is that a a doctor can perform an abortion up to 24 weeks and now they're doing it that it's um, before gestational age of 15 weeks and gestation is to be counted from a woman's last date of her last menstrual period so Essentially, what it's doing is changing the the law from 24 weeks to 15 weeks. And there's been all kinds of protests and so forth. But what I want to share with you, because a lot of times when you watch the news and they show you all this protesting and stuff, I always like to look at what is the practical effect of this and what does it really mean? Mm -hmm. Um, I was doing some research by CDC statistics. And interestingly enough, um, in 2019, 92.7, so almost 93% of all abortions were performed at less than 13 weeks of gestation. So if that's the case, and the overwhelming vast majority of abortions are performed at less than 13 weeks gestation, the, the question you can ask is, you know, okay, so is this really a big practical change, changing it from 24 weeks to 15 weeks? Right. Um, <laughs> 6.2% of abortions were performed at 14 to 20 weeks of gestation, and fewer than 1% were performed past 21 weeks of gestation. Wow. So, yeah, I know. So, statistically, the overwhelming vast majority of of abortions are performed uh, less than than the fifteen weeks anyway that that are that's referenced in in the law. Um, however, it's a big, hot, and controversial topic because uh, certainly any limitation on the right of a woman to get an abortion is going to create a lot of of social protest. Um, just well, it's, so it's that also- we. Can- it goes. To, sorry to, to interject there, but yeah. So it goes back to again, you know, where you're getting your news source from, right? So if you're if you're getting it from the left, it's a, you know a mainstream media that is going to be more leaning towards the left. They're going to call it reproductive rights, and they're going to make a big you know big stink about it. Uh, but if you're on the other side of the fence, you have more of a biblical Christian value of uh, protecting life, and and you know, and then of course it also gets into the uh, situation where they say, well, you know, what about rape and incest? Well, that happens with all your statistics that you did. And I'm glad you did that. That was great that you did that, Millie, to look and see where they're, you know, the practicality of where, what, at what week these are actually happening. But, you know, it's less than 1% for rape and incest, uh, but that's one of the biggest, uh, you know, reasons why they'll say, oh, well, we, we've got to have this uh, abortion. And uh, so that's, that's one point. And then the other one I'll make real quick too is in Maryland, uh, they actually, I sign up for the newsletter from this station. Uh, Salem Media sends out a, a, a newsletter every morning with the top 10, you know, what's going on across the world, geopolitical and also domestic. Maryland uh, has a bill that either passed it or is about to pass it where they will allow after birth abortion, literally up to one month after bor- after birth. Ridiculous. I don't know how it happens, but that's that's what I read the other day. It's pretty sad. Wow. Yeah, that that definitely is. Well, so that you know, the abortion rate in our country is less than 2%. So, uh, you know, that means, you know, essentially that there's not that much abortion going on. That means 98% of of pregnancies result in live births. 
and less than 2% result in, in an abortion. Now, you can, under this new law, which, again, the governor is expected to sign, um, if, if two physicians certify in writing that um, it's necessary to terminate the pregnancy in order to save the mother's life, um, then that is something that can happen even after 15 weeks. Now, you can't use psychological health as a basis for the, for the physicians to certify that it's necessary to save the woman's life. So, in other words, if the woman comes in and says, yeah, if I have to have this child, I'm going to kill myself, um, there, that's not one of the reasons under, under this new law that you can uh, terminate the pregnancy past the 15 weeks. Also... The, the law does provide that you can still terminate a pregnancy after 15 weeks if two physicians um, certify uh, that the fetus has a fatal abnormality because that's one of the other arguments that are being made as well. You know, if, if, the, if the fetus has, you know, a disease that's going to cause them to die soon after they're born, why do you want to carry the pregnancy out to full term? And so it, it does provide under this new law that if two physicians certify that, even if it's 20 weeks, you can still get an abortion. Yeah, um, one of the things, too, when you look at when you think about medical and look at the last two years, like how much bad information looking back over this last 24 months with the Chinese virus, COVID, it, it, you had so much misinformation, disinformation, bad information, completely 100 percent wrong information. So the question almost becomes in these situations, it's like which which medical source do you prove or do you choose to trust? And then at what point do we say, wait, you're. You're, you said this, and it ended up being the exact opposite for that particular drug to be effective or that particular, you know, you're calling one a horse dewormer, and it's actually not. You know, like the, you look at all the different lies that were perpetrated uh, by the medical community. It's like people lose a lot of faith in the, in the medical community, uh, Millie. Yeah, no, they, they certainly do. Uh, and that's why, you know, like under this new law, they're saying that two physicians have to certify in writing as to, you know, the issue that would necessitate uh, an abortion to be conducted over the, um, the 15-week mark. Yeah. So, yes, there is a, lot, a loss of faith in the medical community. There's basically a, a loss of faith in just most governmental entities in, in, as well, in, in addition right. to the medical community. That's true. And, and, I, and that's why you're seeing all of this just political outrage, unrest, there's just been so many things going on, and um, it, it's kind of scary because I think it kind of makes us a target for outside countries to look at us and say that, hey, we can't keep our own stuff together internally, you know? Oh, absolutely. So, we're, we're definitely, right now, this is one of the worst times, you know, with this going on in Ukraine. We've got an open southern border. We're, we just passed a $1.5 um, billion dollar bill. Uh, which would, was not, you know, it's just unbelievable, $1.5 trillion bill, rather. And you look at the money, where is it going? Okay, we're sending it overseas. Well, we got an open southern border with drugs flowing across. Uh, human trafficking is uh, is rampant. Uh, unbelievable stuff happening. Millie, back to you. we got about 20 seconds for you to wrap. Okay, all right. Um, well, I just wanted to say thank you. And if you need to reach me to discuss any of these issues, my number is one eight three three ask Millie, M-I-L-L-Y. And we hope to talk to you soon. 833-ASK-MILLIE. Millie, thanks a lot. Great stuff today. Very interesting content. Uh, Appreciate that. Thank you. And Doug Levi was on earlier. We want to ask you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Do something kind for one another. Be a force for good in the community. And continue to support the show. Reach out to the hotline and support our show partners. And support the local economy here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to The Consumer Quarterback. Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Call Brandon Rhymes at 813-917-1894. That's 813-917-1894. Online at consumerqb.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show.